It's throwback night as we bring you high school wrestling on TV2 Sports. The Claymont Mustangs hosting the Solon Golden Comets here at the pit. A gym that's very familiar to area fans and one that's got a lot of tradition for both wrestling and basketball. We'll come back. We'll talk with Claymont head coach Eric Tokenen in a moment. So stay with us right here on the Benchmark Construction pregame show on TV2 Sports. a bite of your favorite McGriddles with the sweet maple taste baked right in. WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Next. In the nation, we know how it feels when you aren't treated like a priority. We do things differently. We'll take care of it. We put members first. Thank you. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. Myers and Miller Podiatry provides complete foot and ankle care to patients of all ages. The practice was established in 2000 by Dr. Adam Myers and has grown to include Dr. Andy Miller in 2007, Dr. Jason Bakich in 2010, and most recently Dr. Kristen Henry in 2015. Our core values of respect and honesty are the basis for how we manage our practice, and we continue to grow by building relationships with our patients and order to better serve their needs. Myers and Miller Podiatry serves Tuscarawas and Holmes counties with offices in Dover, Sugar Creek, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, and our newest location in Eurexville. Let's get started with building our relationship. At Mr. Appliance, we believe repairing your appliances is only part of the job. We believe in delivering superior service by taking extra steps like putting on protective shoe covers before entering your home. Calling Mr. Appliance is a smart choice as we charge by the job and not by the hour. When our in-home service professional arrives at your home, you'll get a complete diagnosis of your appliance problem and a solid quote before any work begins. When you call Mr. Appliance, you can be sure a courteous, highly trained service professional will arrive at your home on time with a clean uniform and an ID badge. We conduct a background check on all our service professionals as we want to be the repair service you can trust. For the service you can trust, call your local Mr. Appliance at 330-874-6017 or visit online at MrAppliance.com. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Carpenter Heating and Cooling, located at 946 Cookson Avenue Southeast in New Philadelphia. Looking for year-round comfort? Contact Doug or Chris at 330-308-8550 or visit online at carpentercomfort.com. Dr. Richard Burns and Dr. Nathan Springer are a dedicated team of highly qualified professionals committed to determining which treatment solution is best suited to your specific orthodontic needs. Located at 107 Ray Avenue Northeast in New Philadelphia, give them a call at 330-343-9911. At Burns and Springer, we look forward to seeing you smile. Almond Incorporated. You know them as A&M Service Center, located at 1172 Tuscaroras Avenue Northwest in New Philadelphia. If you know your car needs servicing soon, schedule your appointment with A&M by calling 330-343-3013 this week. back on the Benchmark Construction pre-match show with head coach Eric Token and the Clay Mod Mustangs. Coach, big big battle with Solon tonight. Always one of your tougher matches of the year. Right. Uh, they're a very good Cleveland team. they got a rich tradition of wrestling and uh, 
We've wrestled them many years. They love to come to this environment. Uh, we started to throw back matches a couple years ago. And, uh, you know, 1983 was my first year as head coach. And uh, I have a lot of fond memories from 83 to 99 being in this gym. We had some big wins. It's very noisy. Hopefully we'll have a great crowd tonight. As you look at the match itself, what are some of the weight classes that you think are going to be the key matches? Well, down low, they have a lot of experience on us. Plus, we're forfeit and 120. We just haven't got into the right lineup. We're, we're missing uh, three starters. But we uh, survived Philly uh, Thursday night. We're 4-0. We had a great match against Walsh Jesuit. And then a week later, a great match against Uniontown Lake. Somebody stepped up. It was like next man up. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll have the same situation happen tonight where somebody steps up and does an extremely great job for us. You're going to be able to get healthy in time to go into the tournament? We feel confident by February 3rd we'll get all three starters back. And that, that'll strengthen our... You know, Scott, if you have one starter out, it could be a 12-point swing. You know, six point, instead of getting six, the other team gets six. And it can swing that score real quick. The forfeit at 20 really hurts because no matter what, they're going to gain six points on us there. So good luck tonight. Thank you, Scott. Head coach Eric Tokenen of the Claymont Mustangs. That's been our Benchmark Construction pre-match show. We'll come back with the start of our match in a moment here on TV2 Sports. Omni Orthopedics comprehensive programs provide early diagnosis and successful treatment for every musculoskeletal problem. With more than 30 years of orthopedic experience, their physicians offer patient-centered treatment for all ages. From evaluation to rehabilitation, your treatment plan is designed around your needs. Omni Orthopedics specializes in sports medicine, the spine, physical medicine and rehabilitation, foot and ankle, and hand surgery. If pain makes activities like climbing stairs, standing or walking a challenge, turn to the home team at Omni Orthopedics. Their mission is to provide you with the highest quality and most advanced orthopedic services so you can get back in the game. Located in the Oxford Medical Arts Building, Omni offers a full service facility including digital x-ray and physical therapy. So there's no need to travel when quality care is so close to home. Omni Orthopedics setting the standard in orthopedic care. Are you recovering from orthopedic surgery, experiencing low back pain, or pain resulting from an injury? If so, choose Trinity Hospital Twin Cities Rehab Center. Their experienced team of physical therapists provide personalized care to help you return to normal activities as soon as possible. Choose the Trinity Hospital Twin City Rehab Center at Denison. Call 740-922-6675 for more information. I think the hands-on aspect is going to give you an opportunity to explore, find out what you're good at, what you like, and you're not going to have mountains of debt. What you're going to have is a marketable skill that even if you don't love it, you can use that to pay to go on to college and get that degree. And we've got a number of students that do that. They're, they're very mature. I think we're great hands-on exploration base. Brilliantly practical scientist Harriet Tuttle's search for a more efficient life concluded with an unorthodox solution. Harriet created four more Harriets. Together they were a model of efficiency. However, while identical, they had their own interests and their own retirement plans, each customized with a Raymond James financial advisor, allowing them to enjoy life separately and together. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. And welcome back to our TV2 sports coverage of high school wrestling between the Claymont Mustangs and the Solon Golden Comets. Scott Robinson along with Rick Cole. It's time for our keys to the match brought to you by Parkway Auto Superstore located at 855 Commercial Parkway in Dover. Buying the keys to your next vehicle at the Parkway Auto Superstore. One of the premier car dealers in the Tuscarawas Valley. And as we welcome Rick in, 
You know, Rick, one of the things they mentioned was that uh, Solon's got about four good wrestlers, yeah. a lot of strength at the lower weight classes. Other than that, the Mustangs should be very competitive. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's actually typical of, of Solon. They'll have four or five actually state placer type of wrestlers, and then the rest of their lineup tends to fall off. So I think key for Claymont, if they can weather the storm of those three or four kids, not give up big points, not give up pins, not give up bonus points, I think Claymont can come, come out on top. But if they go through and lose a bunch by pins, it's going to be a long night. All right, those are our keys to the game, brought to you by the Parkway Auto Superstore, located at 855 Commercial Parkway in Dover. Our injury report brought to you by Omni Orthopedics. If you've been sidelined with an injury, get back into the game with the home team at Omni Orthopedics. With more than 30 years of orthopedic experience, their physicians offer patient-centered treatment for all ages. And uh, there are three starters out for Claymont tonight, so they do have some injury and illness, and uh, they're going to do the best they can with the lineup. It's next man up for the Mustangs. The injury report brought to you by Omni Orthopedics. If you've been sidelined with an injury, get back into the game with the home team at Omni Orthopedics. As we uh, move along, we'd like to thank our sponsor, uh, one of our key sponsors for tonight's game, Gemstone. They're your local welding and gas supply superstore. They fill most industrial gases plus medical oxygen on site. Gemstone Gas also fills all portable size propane tanks, and currently it's just $11 for your barbecue tank. They also retest cylinders and have dry ice. Stop by and visit Gemstone, the best prices in town, just up the hill from Rural King at 1032 Front Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia, or you can find them on the web at gemstonegasandwelding.com. Give them a call at 330-308-0000. It's time now for our national anthem, brought to you by Jill Barker, O.D. And the National Anthem brought to you by Jill Barker, OD, a local family optometry practice with offices in Dover and Caddis. Dr. Barker takes great pride in the individual care and attention provided to all of her patients for quality eye care and a great-looking pair of glasses. Please contact Jill Barker at 330-343-6941 in Dover or 740-942-4433 in Caddis. Let's take a look at our starting lineups now, brought to you by your local nationwide insurance agents, located at 2146 East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. That is Don Kemp and Doug Sofer, located at 435 West High Avenue, also in New Philly. So if you're looking for home, car, health, or life insurance, give Don a call at 330-339-4211 or Doug a call at 330-339-4700. So if we could just uh, kind of maybe scroll quickly through the uh, lineups here. Or we could do it old school, too. Let's do that. Uh, 106, Jared Worthington and uh, Jake Canatano. 113, Neil Cadle and Joey Hurst. Mustangs will uh, have a forfeit at 120. Tyler Warner and Max Luden at 126. On, on down the line for the Mustangs, you've got Chandra Golick, Max Peters, Briar Cadle, Justice Avery, Brandon Patterson, Taron Rao, Blake Leinard, Cole Abio, Lyle Clark, and also Jarrett Abiol. That is our starting lineup brought to you by your local nationwide insurance agents, Don Kemp and Doug Sofer. We'll come back with the start of our match in a moment. Stay with us right here on TV2 Sports.
WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Students choose Kent State University at Tuscaroras because of our academic excellence, dedicated faculty, and affordable tuition. Our bachelor's and associate degrees will prepare you for careers including nursing, computer animation, or veterinary technology. Kent State Tuscaroras offers a dynamic campus with state-of-the-art facilities, exceptional student services, and a welcoming environment. Call or visit us online to register for classes and find out more about Kent State Tuscaroras. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. Myers & Miller Podiatry provides complete foot and ankle care to patients of all ages. The practice was established in 2000 by Dr. Adam Myers and has grown to include Dr. Andy Miller in 2007, Dr. Jason Bakich in 2010, and most recently Dr. Kristen Henry in 2015. Our core values of respect and honesty are the basis for how we manage our practice and we continue to grow by building relationships with our patients in order to better serve their needs. Myers & Miller Podiatry serves Tuscarawas and Holmes counties with offices in Dover, Sugar Creek, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, and our newest location in Eurexville. Let's get started with building our relationship. And welcome back to our wrestling match between the Mustangs and the Golden Comets. We'll start at the 106 pound weight class as we get ready to go here. And uh, it'll be Jared Warrington for the Mustangs and Jake Canatano for Solon. So, Rick, again, should be a good wrestling match all the it way will. around. Yeah, and it always is. These two teams, you know, they bring it back here to the pit uh, where the, the bleachers are close to the match and the crowd's pretty tight. And that's always makes for a really exciting evening. Coach DiGiovanni and, and the Solon comments, um, he is a very unorthodox style type of a coach, and his kids pick that up too. The start of the match brought to you by Lightning Signs and Decals at 224 7th Street Southwest in New Philadelphia. Nice backhand takedown. And so Solon ahead here early, two to nothing. Trying to set up a, a, a roll or a tilt on top, the Comet wrestler. And the, the Claymont wrestler, he's got to get his wrists free. See how he's got his wrists all tied up there? And that's what happens. You get your wrists tied up, you get turned for a tilt. And you're going to see a lot of this all night long. Coach Di Giovanni, he teaches a lot of these, these tilts, these rolls. Uh, he was actually my coach at Cleveland State back in the day. And um, he's unorthodox the way he wrestled, and his kids will pick this up too. I'll get three more points here for Canatano. And he's got that cross body ride in. And that can be awful hard on the bottom guy. He's going to crank the power half here. Claymont needs to get some wrist 
free up his hands. Good job. Nice, nice. Good wrestling. So Kenetano with the early lead here in the first period, five to nothing. Important for Warrington to get a point here before the, the end of this first period. 32 seconds to go here in the first period. Kanatana working that reinforced bar. Ooh, that is nasty. He's got a bar on one side, half on the other side. You don't survive that. Not many do, but he might. Ooh, good fight, good fight. Lost some points, but at the same time, he did not get pinned. It's yeah. eight to nothing. Yeah, most kids would have got stuck there. Four seconds, if he can survive this, He's still in the match. So three more back points, making it 11 to nothing. So we have a chance this one could be ended early. Yeah. As we get ready for the second period. 15 points is a technical fall. And that equals a five, five team points. So it's a little bit, not quite as bad as a pin, which is six, 16 points. Claymont jump there. And Warrington wants to keep him on the mat. He doesn't want to go. Nice. Yeah. He's going to cut off to a double. And that's two more for Kinatano. So it's 13 to nothing. He's got that, we call that a leg Turk that he's got on the bottom. And he's got that bottom leg hook. It's called a leg Turk. And he got out of it, which is good. But again, he's giving up his wrists on the bottom. And you just can't do that on, a, on somebody who's tough on top. But he's working. Warrington's trying to clear it free his wrists, but he's having a hard time with that. I'm sure Coach DiGiovanni is hoping for big points here for, for the team point. And Warrington, he's still wrestling. He, he's not stopping. Sometimes you just meet an opponent that's a little bit superior and you have to tip your hat to him. Yeah, and you just got to keep competing against him. Oh boy, that's a tight half there. Let's see. Yeah, again, though, he's got his wrist. Oh, that's, na yeah. It's called a spiral ride that the, the Solon wrestler has on top. And he's got that, it's called a cross body ride is what Solon has here. He's got a leg in on that far side. And let's see if he knows what to do with it. Down to 20 seconds to go here in the second period. Thirteen to nothing, the score in the match. Only thing that's going to save Warrington would be a pin at this stage. That's a good period for Warrington. Yeah, Coach DiGiovanni wants his wrestler on top. Yeah, see, I find that interesting because all he needs is a two-point escape and he's yeah. done. And I think the, the logic behind that is the, the, uh, the Solon wrestler, he's very good at turns on top. And I think that Coach DiGiovanni thinks he'll crank him and turn him. But hopefully uh, Warrington can just stay in good position. Now he's got both legs in and that's just an awful lot of pressure as you can tell. He's going to work that power half. But Warrington's, uh, that's awful tight. He's got both legs in. He's got a half in. And that's just awful tough. That could be a pin. But Warrington's a gamer. I think that's awful hard to get out of, though. If he does roll out of it, it's a tech fall. Yeah. So that is a pin at the 106 match. And that makes it six to nothing Solon. 
And I guess that's why their coach wanted him on top. Yeah, I would think, yeah. He knew he knows what he's doing on, on top. So Joey Hirsch will battle Neil Cadle of the Mustangs here. At the 113 pound weight class, we started at 106. Both wrestlers look identical in their physique and stature. A lot of hand fighting going on there. Digging their heads against one another. That's good. Yeah, good hard collar tie. Oh, he's going for that near side cradle and he's got it locked up and that is not good. And that's awful tight. You, we've got a good view of his shoulder blades here. If he settles back right now, he might roll out of that. But if Solon can settle back a little bit, that's going to be awful dangerous for uh It's a lot Cato. of pressure here. It is. It is. And he's just, he's still got a minute on the clock. And you can see him. He's just going to start working those. Yeah. He's just going to start easing that shoulder blade down. And obviously the referee's in great position there. What a job here, though, by Cato to stay off his mm -hmm. back. Yeah. Yeah, that is awful tight. Oh, boy, yeah. Yeah. So a second pin in a row makes it quick 12-0. We'll have a forfeit coming up here, I believe, at uh, 120. Yeah. Coach Token, he's going to question his pin because I, I don't think both his shoulders were flat. And I think, at, yeah, see, that's what he's talking about. The referee saying, well, it just has to be the bottom of the shoulder blade. But uh, I thought that was kind of quick myself. I agree with Coach Token on that. So it will be quickly 18 to nothing as Claymont will not have a wrestler at 120. I'm sure Coach Token is going to look to get six points here out of Tyler Warner, three-time state champ. So Tyler Warner versus Max Luden at 126. Claymont down 18 to nothing here early on. So we see them tying little red and, yeah. and green anklets on. Uh, why don't you explain what that might be? For? Yeah, what it does, it helps the official. You can see the official has a red and a green uh, wrist ankle uh, wristbands on too. And so the referee, he holds up his hand with the green. He knows that matches up with uh, the Claymont wrestler. Quickly, Tyler Warner anklet. gets a couple of points with a takedown. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Tokenin is going to look to get six of these points back. And Tyler's very good on top. Uh, he does a good crab ride. He does great cradles. He does a great spiral ride. And Solon definitely, and he's going to launch him. If Solon stands up like that again, Tyler's going to launch him and land him right on his back. That's a lot of pressure. That's, that's big time trouble. He's going to slip that arm and crank that neck and it's it's all over. Well, he got out of it. He sure did. Tyler's got that lock. He's so got, got a near side two cradle. More points. Call that a stug cradle there. And see how he's got that leg trap. There's you're done. And the pin at 106 of the first period. We'll take a quick break. 18 to 6, our score. Solon leading Claymont on TV2 Sports. Students choose Kent State University at Tuscaroras because of our academic excellence, dedicated faculty, and affordable tuition. Our bachelor's and associate degrees will prepare you for careers including nursing, computer animation, or veterinary technology. Kent State Tuscaroras offers a dynamic campus with state-of-the-art facilities, exceptional student services, and a welcoming environment. 
Call or visit us online to register for classes and find out more about Kent State Tuscaroras. What do you call two Big Mac sandwiches, two cheeseburgers, four world-famous fries, and a 10-piece tender juicy chicken McNuggets? We call it the Mickey D's Dinner Box. You can call it Family Dinner-tastic. Omni Orthopedics comprehensive programs provide early diagnosis and successful treatment for every musculoskeletal problem. With more than 30 years of orthopedic experience, their physicians offer patient-centered treatment for all ages. From evaluation to rehabilitation, your treatment plan is designed around your needs. Omni Orthopedics specializes in sports medicine, the spine, physical medicine and rehabilitation, foot and ankle, and hand surgery. If pain makes activities like climbing stairs, standing or walking a challenge, turn to the home team at Omni Orthopedics. Their mission is to provide you with the highest quality and most advanced orthopedic services so you can get back in the game. Located in the Oxford Medical Arts Building, Omni offers a full service facility including digital x-ray and physical therapy. So there's no need to travel when quality care is so close to home. Omni Orthopedics, setting the standard in orthopedic care. In the nation, we know how you feel about your car. So when coverage really counts, count on Nationwide Insurance. Because what's precious to you is precious to us. Just another way we put members first. Because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. At Mr. Appliance, we believe repairing your appliances is only part of the job. We believe in delivering superior service by taking extra steps like putting on protective shoe covers before entering your home. Calling Mr. Appliance is a smart choice as we charge by the job and not by the hour. When our in-home service professional arrives at your home, you'll get a complete diagnosis of your appliance problem and a solid quote before any work begins. When you call Mr. Appliance, you can be sure a courteous, highly trained service professional will arrive at your home on time with a clean uniform and an ID badge. We conduct a background check on all our service professionals as we want to be the repair service you can trust. For the service you can trust, call your local Mr. Appliance at 330-874-6017 or visit online at mrappliance.com. And we're back here, 18 to six, our score. The next match at 132, Chandler Golick for the Mustangs, Josh Wexler for Solon. Also want to thank our sponsors for tonight's uh, broadcast, Northside Auto Repair, located at 1 Denison Circle in Denison. Quality service at reasonable prices today. Uh, you can call them for an appointment. Nice arm drag by Solon Wrestler. Golick fighting off. Fighting off that single leg. Nice job. Nice job. By Golik fought off that single leg real well. Sit on a nice double leg. Finish it. There you go. Two takedown. Two nice points job. here for Golik. As he leads it two to nothing here at the first period of the 132 pound weight match. Golik working that spiral ride. Doing a nice job on top. See Wexler, a Solon wrestler. Now he's doing a fairly good job of keeping his wrists free. Golik riding tough though. Working that near side tilt. No points yet. Still no points. The referee only gave one, one wave of his hand, so there was no back points there. Now he's got back points. And it should be two back points for Golick and an escape for Wexler. So right now it's two to one. Wexler getting one point there for the escape. 
apparently he did not get the points that we anticipated. So. No. Nice shot. Nice shot. He's got to finish. Wexler's got an awful lot of leverage. Not enough time as yeah. the first period ends. Two to one. Golick leading Wexler, but Solon leading the match 18 to six. Coach Tokenin wants Golick to take the down position. Sometimes these long, lanky kids like Wexler, so he, he likes, they like riding the, the legs. We'll see what happens. And we'll get a blood timeout. First of the night. Is Solon a Division I school? I believe they are. Know? Yeah, I believe they mm -hmm. are. So we also want to remind you, too, that uh, we have a couple other sponsors we'd like to mention. Uh, Keister Implement, located at 2239 West State Street in Midvale. Keister Implement is your local John Deere dealer. Also, Dave's Auto Body and Collision. They're located at 425 Grant Street in Denison. And we also want to thank Peter's Tire and Auto Service, located at 135 North Water Street in Eurexville. So we got a lot of interest in Claremont Wrestling. We'll have them again on Wednesday night as they will take on Indian Valley in Janaden Hutton. Then Friday night, we've got boys high school basketball action as New Philadelphia will host Meadowbrook in an ECOL game. And then the following week, we'll see the Claymont wrestlers again. Goal looking in a good sit-out position. Now you can't sit there, though. you got to move. There you go. Good job. Nicely done. Two-point reversal, so it's 4-1. to one. Chandler Golick leading Wexler. <laughs> Golick working that spiral half. Now, if Wexler stands up with that half in, Golick will launch him in a bad way. But Wexler, he, he's obviously wrestled before and he knows that you don't stand up when somebody's got that spiral half on you. Uh, yeah. Golick doing a real nice job on top. He's got that head lever there. Maybe he'll slip that to an arm bar, yeah, good. No. Yeah, and that's exactly what goal. There you go. Kicks him out. So there's a point for Wexler, making it four to two. Forty-four seconds to go here in the second period of our 132-pound weight class match. Ref's going to break that if they don't step away. There you go. Nice low single. Real nice. Yeah, very nice. Two more points for Chandler Golick. They got two more back points, and that's eight to two as we end this second period. Yeah, and Golik scored four points with 11 seconds left, so that, that's really good on his part. And Claymont needs some bonus points right here. Let's see what Golik can do. I think the ref should take a look at Wexler for stalling. You know, whenever bottom man's head is on the mat like that, typically they get hit for stalling. But he came up and to his feet. Good job for and Wexler. He's going to kick him out. Yeah. So it's another point for Wexler, making it eight to three. Another low single shot. He's in on that single leg. Nice. 
two for Golik. 10 to three. He'll kick him out, so it makes it 10 to four. And I think if uh, Golik just keeps going those low leg singles, he can take him down at will. But he doesn't want to mess around getting tied up there. It's just going to kill the clock. It's just going to run the clock down. He needs to go right back to that low single. His Wexler is starting to get gassed here too. See how he's not moving. Wexler just standing there. He's just a he's just a stationary target. Question is, is there enough time with 41 seconds here yeah. that Golik can have something to do? There's that low single again. Yeah, right to his back. Oh, I thought he was going to get Couple some back Couple more points for Golik, so it's yeah, 12 he, to 4. He's got him on his back. And he should pin him. Yeah. And a late pin by Chandler Golik. Making it. 18 to 12. You could just tell Wexler had run out of gas. Yeah. yeah. His feet were like they were like they were in concrete. He wasn't moving at all. So Max Peters will take on Nathan Langston here in the 138 pound match. It's either been forfeit or pin all the way up and down so far. <laughs> Langston working that two-on-one. It's called a two-on-one Russian tie. And he knows what to do with it. Yeah. So two points, this time going to Langston. Good job, Peters. Keep moving, keep moving. And if Peter can just, Peters can keep moving on the bottom. Ref will stop this any minute here. There we go. Put his headgear back on. But with Langston on top, you can't afford just to set there because he, he'll, he'll put the hurt to you. But I'm sure Peters knows that. One twenty to go here in the first period of our 138-pound match between Max Peters of Claymont and Nathan Langston of Solon. Langston's got a nice claw ride there. Can't quite see it from our angle, but uh, Langston's trying to work those wrists, and he's trying to go for a tilt here. Peters needs to just keep working up, free those wrists, free his hands. Langston trying for a cradle. There you go. There you go, Max. Yeah. In that position, Scott, Solon has five seconds to work up onto his hips. You just can't hang on to an ankle. So after five seconds, the ref will call stalling. It's a good call. So we'll start again with Peters on the mat. 13 seconds to go here. Nice Granby roll. Two reversal right at the whistle, right at the end of the period. So it ties it up at 2 2. So that evens things up here as we go to the second period. Nice Granby roll by Peters. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to keep moving on bottom. And did a great job. Great job that period. Now Peter's coming out with a claw right of his own. Langston trying to come up to his feet. Uh, 
Nice escape. We got an escape, so it's three to two. Langston leading Max Peters. And this is where it gets good. Both guys really head banging, going hard one another. Nice shot, a little too, little too far extended. Nice tilt. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh, he's going to call that. Yeah. So, two points for Peters. That makes it four to three. Yeah, and what the Claymont fans are upset with is official stopped it because potentially dangerous. Um, Langston's arm was in a, I guess, a bad way. I didn't think it was that bad. But Peters had him, taking him straight to his back. Down to 57 seconds to go here in the second quarter. It's important Peters write him out here this last 45 seconds. Max Peters leading the match four to three here in the second period with 40 seconds to go. Ah. Oh. He's getting back points there too. A reversal makes it five to four. Langston. I don't know if he gave him back points or not. I don't think he did. I don't think he had back well, points. Well, now it's 7-0, oh, so he did give him a he couple. Did give so him it's 7-4. to four. Yep. And two he to gave, Peters, making it 7-6. Oh, if he pops his head, it's going to be a reversal. Hang on to him. He's got to hang on to his head. Just hang on to his head. There we go. So it is 7-6 going into this final period, the best match so far of the night. Yeah. So Langston 7, yes. Peter 6. So they're going to let it go at 7-7 seven, seven now. He'll let yep. him up into the neutral position. So we're at 7-7. Seven, seven. Right. Peter's just a little too far out on his shot. Nice, whiz, bear hugging, bear hugging. Nice, nice. Oh. He's okay, see how Peters keeps moving? He never stops, he never stops. No bet, no takedown yet. Peters has got to step over that leg. No takedown yet, ah. Still nothing. And now we got two points for Peters, making it nine to seven. Yeah. Peters has got to bring his hips up. Uh, his hips are too low. That's going to be two for. Uh, yeah. Two points. For Langston making it 9-9. 34 seconds to go. Need one last burst of adrenaline yeah. here to see if he can win this match. 9-9. Peters needs to get out of bounds. There you go. Good job. 20 seconds is a it's a plenty time. It's enough time. Peters has got to come up, get out, get his one, and get off the mat. Peters hits that nice Granby roll. Maybe he can hit that and get an escape. Fans getting a little excited here at the pit in Yorksville. Yeah, there's a the Granby. There it is. Down to 10 seconds. Can't get loose and we are still at 9-9. Nine, nine. It's 
Referee's gonna put a one minute, one minute on the clock. And if you can score here, match is over. Ah! Oh, and the match yeah. goes to Langston, 11 to nine. Peters, his shots are just a little too far away, but he'll get better at that. He'll get so better at that. 21 to 12. Match score, Solon leading Claymont. So at the 145 pound weight class, Briar Cato for Claymont and Dean August for Solon. That's a great match. That's the way all the matches should be, just all the way down to West. Both guys wrestled hard. Excellent match. This is Briar Cato, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Solon likes that two on one. It's a two on one Russian tie. Obviously, the Russians made that um, very popular back in the mid 80s. There's a lot of different ways to score off that, that two on one tie up. That's what he went, the Solon wrestler keeps wanting to go back to that, that two on one. See if Cato can get a, there you go, get a shot off. Nice low single. Sometimes it's hard to finish right here. Now Cato needs to come up, come up. And referee's gonna Probably stop this stalemate. Yeah, he's getting close to scoring. Cato's got to hang on to that ankle. There you go. Hang on to it. Both wrestlers have the same advantage, but the Solon wrestler, his head's much higher. He's in better position here. An official should call this stalemate. There you go. Cato needs to stay, stay in on him. He can't be backing up like that. It sends the wrong message. Cato needs a hammer, hammer, hammer. It slowed him down here a little bit. Cato's slowing down. That is not good. So we're down to the eight seconds to go here in the first period. So ready to go to the second period at the 145 pound weight class. Briar Cato for Claymont, Dean August for Solon. No scores. We hit the second period. Looking for a leg Turk there, and he's got it. That's. He's got that leg, that bottom leg hook. Good job by Cato fighting out of that. And again, you'll see this claw ride that Solon likes to do. Minute 26 to go here in the second period. No score. August riding tough there. Cato's got to get his head up. There you go. Now, Russell. Now, Russell. Cato needs to really build up, build a base, get his head up. Neither one is really doing much at this no, point. No, the, the official is going to be compelled to call somebody for stalling. If not, call them, call them both. You can't call one, call them both. 
can't wrestle a whole second period like that without somebody getting called for stalling. Twenty-six seconds to go, and no score yet in this match. August trying to get an arm bar on that near side, and that caution for stallings against Claymont there. Unfortunately, I, I agree with that call. You, you can't keep your belly and your head on the mat for a full minute. There's not been much action in this match so far. Maybe Cato can turn him and get some points. Cato looking for a cross face cradle there. Up and down. Uh, like got away and we got a an escape nice there shot. for Dean August. Nice shot. Make it August, a one to nothing. August walked right into that. By all rights, Cato should have that takedown, but it's not going to happen. It was a nice shot by Cato. Third period, a minute 20 to go. Cato needs just to hang on that leg to the referee call stalemate. There you go. So August leading it one to nothing. Cato, he needs to dig deep here and, and get this takedown. There you go. You're in on it. You got you. Uh. Yeah. Cato's getting in on August's legs real nice. He just he needs to finish that. He needs to finish that shot. Keep his feet moving. Keep your feet chopping. Cato with that front headlock. Got to get the angle and get by, go behind. Thirty-seven seconds to go here in this third period. One to nothing. August with the lead. Anybody's match here. Whoever wants it needs to go get go after it. Nice shot. Nice low single. Get it, get it, get it. Takedown, nice. There's two for a takedown for Cato. Now with 21 seconds to go, it's a matter of hanging on. Down to 10. Seven. He should do it. There you go, got it. Good job. Big win for the Claymont Mustangs. Big win. Nice job by Cato. So Kept two rushing. to one victory for the Mustangs. 21 to 15. So at the 152 pound match, Justice Avery to take on Morgan Peterson of Solon. I think Avery sporting the uh, throwback singlet there. Avery, very quick, very, very quick. Could be an area where Claymont might be able to come back in this match and take it over. Yeah, they need to. I'm not sure how Solon's upper weights are. Did they comment on that? They said they were strong at about four or five weight classes, and I'm just not sure which yeah. those uh, four or five might be. Yeah. Claim on it's without a couple that are two or three of their starters tonight, so. 
Uh, but fortunately, Claymont's got a, a, a nice, nice depth in their roster, and they're able to put out there pretty much a full team and do well and compete. Nice ankle pick. Nice ankle pick. Two points for Justice Avery. And Avery's got that, that tall, lengthy leverage that he uses on top. And he knows how to use that, too. Caution on Avery. Jump the whistle. Avery needs to go back to that low single or that ankle pick. Especially the, the, the longer the match goes on, the, the less uh, Solon wrestler is moving his feet. Right there, he, he's wide open for it. Now go behind, go behind, quick go behind. He's looking at that ankle, that near ankle. You'll see him go for it. Seven seconds to go here in the first period. Nice, there it is, there it is. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Two to one, our score. Avery leading Peterson. I think as well as Avery's doing on his feet, Coach Token might, after 30, 40 seconds, tell him kick him out. Or Avery might let him go here, we'll see. Nice mat return. He's going to look for that cradle. And yeah, he's got it. That's locked up, and that's locked up tight. This could be history. That's very tight. And he's got a minute to put him away, minute 30, yeah. So with a minute 26 to go in the second quarter, second period, I should say, a pin for the Mustangs makes it 21-21. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more in a moment here at the Pit in Yorksville. Stay with us here on TV2 Sports. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. Are you recovering from orthopedic surgery, experiencing low back pain, or pain resulting from an injury? If so, choose Trinity Hospital Twin Cities Rehab Center. Their experienced team of physical therapists provide personalized care to help you return to normal activities as soon as possible. Choose the Trinity Hospital Twin City Rehab Center at Denison. Call 740-922-6675 for more information. Just wanting to be a, you know, a police officer, I knew this was a great start, and it turned out to be a fantastic one. Just be able to actually see what you're doing, what you're working on, and understand how you can take one thing and turn it into something else. We got to creatively use skills and academics and see how we can place them into our fields. It was pretty much I had the key to open the door, and that was from Buckeye. 
Myers and Miller Podiatry provides complete foot and ankle care to patients of all ages. The practice was established in 2000 by Dr. Adam Myers and has grown to include Dr. Andy Miller in 2007, Dr. Jason Bakich in 2010, and most recently Dr. Kristen Henry in 2015. Our core values of respect and honesty are the basis for how we manage our practice and we continue to grow by building relationships with our patients in order to better serve their needs. Myers and Miller Podiatry serves Tuscarawas and Holmes counties with offices in Dover, Sugar Creek, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, and our newest location in Eurexville. Let's get started with building our relationship. Brilliantly practical scientist Harriet Tuttle's search for a more efficient life concluded with an unorthodox solution. Harriet created four more Harriets. Together they were a model of efficiency. However, while identical, they had their own interests and their own retirement plans, each customized with a Raymond James financial advisor, allowing them to enjoy life separately and together. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. We reserve the 160-pound weight class. Brandon Patterson for Claymont. Eloy Vazquez for Solon. Nice shot. Vasquez, good defense there. Hips in, hips in. Oh, that's trouble. Bring him down. Just bring him down. There you go. There you go. First two for Brandon Patterson. And Patterson looking for that cross face cradle as well. Nice claw rise, got both boots in. And this can really wear, wear your wrestler out there. A lot of times the official will call actually stalling on the wrestler on top if you got both legs in. But Patterson's doing a nice job trying to turn him there. The official's going to stop this here pretty quick. There you go. He's got that half. He's cranking. He should get some points there. Oh. Vasquez, good job on bottom, not getting turned. 15 seconds to go here in the first period. Not going to have enough time. Nope. Bodes well here, here for Patterson, though, in the second period as he uh, was in control. The match tied up at 21-21. Claymont has dominated the match from the 126 to the 152 pound weight classes. Won all of those matches. Patterson almost up and out. Kick. Kick one more time. Patterson right back to the middle. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Patterson, watch that, that's that leg Turk right there, and that's a dangerous position to be in. Watch that near side cradle. There you go. He's out of danger there. He'll free that leg up. There you go. So Patterson still leading it two to nothing. Minute 10 to go here in the second period of our 160 pound weight class and he will get another point to make it three to nothing.
Now, a takedown here by Patterson would really be slick. Again, the soul and wrestle, wrestler back to that, that Russian tie. Just not sure what to do with it. Nice shot, nice shot, finish. Get your hips in. There's a take, he'll get it in a second. All he's just gotta do is bring him down to the mat and he'll have a takedown. Oh. And that should be two right there. Two more points, making it five to nothing. And he's gonna get back points here. That is really tight. That's it. And another pin for the Mustangs with 12 seconds to go in the second period. Makes it 27 to 21 at Claymont. Real rally here by yeah. the Mustangs. Taryn Rao will take on Marquise Churn at the 170 pound weight class. Claymont starting to pull away here. And I don't know that Solon has the horsepower up top to stop this. Nice low single. Nice. Quick two for Taryn Rao. He'll release him for a point for Churn, so it's 2 1. So we'll start in a neutral position. Nice. That two low, that two low more quick for uh, Rao. Yeah, that nice low Making single. Making it 4-1. He's going to tilt him for some back points here. Not quite. He's got to break that 45-degree plane with his shoulders is what the official's looking for. And he didn't quite get there. Rao looking like the dominant wrestler, though, in yeah. this match. Yeah, I think so. And Churn will get loose for another point, making it four to two. Nice single leg again. Two there for Rao, making it six to two. Almost put himself in a pin position. Right yeah, there. he was trying to do a, a roll through, um, but poorly executed. Forty seconds to go here in the first period. Yeah, Raul doing a real nice job. Here comes that cradle. Looking for a tilt. And in that crab right position. That'll run it down to the buzzer here. And again, he's looking, the ref's looking to see if he breaks that 45 degree angle, which he didn't. So it is six to two at the end of the first period. Taryn Rao. Leading it for the Mustangs here at the 170 pound weight class. Four matches remain here until we get to our post match wrap up brought to you by Bell Stores and we'll name our McDonald's most valuable wrestler. Rao's going to go right back in on that low single. He's setting it up. And he's in on it again. He's about to finish that. Just bring him down. Nice. Nice job. Two more for Rao, making it eight to three. Official's going to stop that. Potentially dangerous there. Want to thank our sponsors tonight Keister Implement, Northside Auto Repair, Dave's Auto Body and Collision, and Peter's Tire and Auto Service, along with Gemstone, your local welding and gas supply superstore in New Philadelphia. 
And I think Corral is probably going to pick up the pace, turn it up here, and at least get some uh, bonus points. There's that single leg again, real nice, and he'll finish it for two right there. So two more for Rao, making it 10 to four. Just can't get him in a position yet to turn uh -huh. him for the pin. But you can kind of see it, the, him softening up a little bit. And there's that cradle. And see if he can get that near shoulder down. I don't know that he can from that position, but he's got a good 30 seconds to work it down. It's that near shoulder of uh, churn that, that's staying up there. Going to get some back points, though. Yeah. So that makes it 13 to 4 with the three back points. 13 seconds to go here in this second period. And Rao is going to ride this one out to get yep. to the third period. And he'll take the down position. And you can just tell that uh, Marquise Churn is uh, yeah. wearing down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That he is. And Corral is going to get out pretty quick. Nice Granby roll. Right into uh, Peterson. He's pinned. A pin. And that's going to be, I won't say all but over, but uh, I don't think Solon's got the horsepower to, to come back from this. Thirty-three to twenty-one, the Mustangs leading it. Blake Leinard will take on Davion Parker at the one hundred eighty-two pound weight class. Liner's going to have to get closer in on those shots. He's shooting from way too far away. I'll tell you what, that Parker's got some big legs. He's done a few squats in his day, I bet. Showing almost a football stance yeah, there. He, yeah, he is. You wonder if he's like a fullback or something. The liner's got to, he's, he's got to get moving his feet. Yeah. He's got to move, got to move your feet. Single leg attempt by Parker there. And he doesn't know what to do with it when he gets in there. So that's that's a good thing. 53 seconds to go here in the first period of our 182 pound match. No score. Scott Robinson and Rick Cole with you from the pit in Yorksville. Throwback night. Yeah, back in the day they would just lower that uh, one center light. And you'd wrestle under just the center light and the rest of the gym was dark. It's pretty neat. They can do that uh, at the new gym. This one uh, can't be done. Can they, uh, not not at this not at this stage. They've changed everything up here yeah. at this point. Yeah, if Liner could just make a better shot, he could take this uh, could take Parker down. But nothing's going to happen there when you're ear to ear like that. That's just not a good wrestling position to be in. And that's the end of the first period, and we've got no score. Let's see if Blake can come up and come out of there. Thanks to uh, the Parkway Auto Superstore for sponsoring our keys to the game tonight. For the injury report, it's Omni Orthopedics. 
Jill Barker, OD, for our national anthem. Nationwide Insurance, Don Kemp and Doug Sofer for our starting lineups. Lightning signs and decals for our start of the match. Yeah, Parker's too high there. Leonard's going to come up out of that. Don't sit there. He's got to move. You got to move. There you go. That's it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Two points for Blake Leonard. Minute three to go here in the second period. Cradling, cradling. Ah. One point for the escape for Parker. Leonard leading it two to one. And we've got a blood time. I haven't yeah. had too much of that tonight. No, uh -uh. no, I think he busted his lip a little bit there. So our stoppage comes at 57 seconds to go in the second period of our 182-pound match. Yeah, Claymont definitely in control. If they can win this one, that'll, that'll be the end of it. So it is two to one. Liner leading Parker. I'm not sure how they expect you to stop something <laughs> in you know 30 seconds or a minute. It's pretty tough to. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And a busted lips hard. To, uh, it's hard to stop too. Because he's going to get hit again, but that's okay. It's wrestling. So we'll see if we can get through this match here. Let's see if Blake can take this, get a takedown here, and. It's hard to score from here when you're just collar tied up like that. Blake's got to keep moving, keep his feet moving. 25 He's, seconds to go here in the second period of our 182-pound match. I don't think Parker's got a, a, a good leg attack. Blake Leonard still ahead at 2-1. to one. So he tries to go in for a shot, but he, he doesn't have the confidence to, to take it, take that leg all the way. So we'll go to the third period with Leinard leading it two to one. And Claymont leading the match 33 to 21. Parker facing him there. But, uh. And he will escape yeah. to get a point, making it 2-2. Now we'll see if, if they just keep pushing and shoving or if somebody's going to really go on the attack here. Minute 45 to go here in the third period of this match. I think if, if Blake would set up a nice... 
leg attack that uh, he can take Parker down. Parker's a pretty strong young man. Yeah, he Blake's having a hard time getting through his his head, what we call a head hands defense there. But I have a feeling the rest of the match is just going to be that in that tie up position. It's whoever scores the next point is probably going to win. Yeah. Just doesn't seem like there's much action here. You know, outside of these collar ties. If I was the official, I'd, I'd hit them both for stalling because they're just they're just doing those collar ties and no, nothing's happening. Maybe they'll pick it up here. Yeah, see, there's no attacking going on. Parker close to getting that single leg. 39 seconds to go. Need someone to get a point here. Yeah. Yeah, they need to work a snap. They're leaning so hard against one another. A snap down is real good to do there. Look Both wrestlers, they, they need to move. They need to move their feet. You, you don't do anything standing like a statue out there. You can almost see this one's going into a little extra time. Yeah. Uh. Yep, overtime it will be. So we'll get one minute. First one that scores wins. Score. Uh, Parker tried an arm drag there, which is something. There you go, Blake. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Drive, 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 drive. Yeah. Oh. Almost. Yeah. Maybe that'll give Blake enough confidence to take that shot again. Real nice. He hit that shot and he kept driving. Just the way you're supposed to do. Did a nice job with that. Now if he can dig down deep and find out one more time. Twenty seconds to go. Uh, so we've got thirteen seconds remaining in this first extra minute. Uh, he's trying to set up a throw, but yeah, and unfortunately, Blake is retreating, so he got called for a caution for stalling there. There's really no penalty, though. No, it's just a caution. But if it happens again, he'll get. It'll be a point. Might be the only way this match is going to yeah. end. Yeah, and that's probably what right the officials now. thinking too. A match like this, sometimes the officials got to get involved and warn somebody. Up, up, up. Uh, now they'll wrestle this entire 30 seconds, and then. Uh, They'll switch around. Claymont will go down. Well, he's got to be careful backing out like that. I like that shot. Ooh. Go, drive, drive. That's two more points, making it five to two for Parker. Not over yet, though. Not over yet. So it's really not sudden death then? Not, not at this point, no, no. Okay, now what'll happen? Oh yeah, that, that is the... I think now Claymont, they're gonna go down. There, there's yeah. a, another 30 second period here. 
And I think Blake will get out. I think he'll get out relatively quickly. Yeah, this, this is over. 30 seconds. I think Blake's going to get out. Down to 19 seconds, 18 seconds. Set something up. He's going to try to Gramby roll or something. You got to move from there. You just can't set there. You got to move, got to move. And we're going to run out of time. And that's it. So five to two, Parker a winner. So that makes it 33 to 24. 195 pound match coming up. Cole Aviel against Jason Garcia. Well, if Claymont would have won that match, that certainly would have shut the door on this uh, meet tonight. But we will keep wrestling. So the score of the match is 33 to 24. Claymont with the lead. Three matches to go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Ah. Garcia fought that off real nice. Abiel needs to go right back to that, that attack, though. So they'll come back to the center of the mat. Minute 10 to go here in the first period. And again, this ear to ear wrestling doesn't, is no good. Abiel just seems to keep pushing the, the pace here. Solon jumped out to an 18 to nothing lead and since that time have only won one match. Garcia working that two on one, but he, he just doesn't know what to do with that. Boy, 24 seconds to go here, first period. But there you go. I was just about to say, both wrestlers standing almost straight up, wide open for a shot. And two points there for Jason Garcia with 10 seconds to go. Let's see if Abiel can get out of here, at least score, score a point here before the buzzer. He's almost out. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. So two to nothing. Garcia with the lead over Abiel as we begin the second period of action. And Sol and Russell are going to take the down position. Let's see if Abiel can turn him here. Got that claw ride. Riding tough, riding tough. And he's trying to set up a Peterson roll. Abiel needs to get back just his position. Uh, two points for Garcia. See if Abiel can get busy on the bottom here. Not sure. Oh, he's going to try a tilt. He's going to try a leg Turk. Don't let him step through. Garcia's trying to lift that near leg and step in between. And if he does, that is a problem for Abuel. He doesn't want to give that up. And he's got that leg trap, but um, he's minute, not. Minute two to go here, second period. He's not in any danger. The official will probably stop that. 
I think Yabuel's too strong to get, I want to say to get turned. Let's see, did he get two back points? Yes, he did. So two back points makes it six to nothing. Garcia. And Abuel, he's got to get busy down there. Ah, keep rolling, keep rolling. Ooh, that's tight. It's over. And a pin for Garcia. Tightens up the match, 33 to 30. What do we have, Scott? Two left, two matches left? Two left. Yeah. So it'll be Lyle Clark and Kennard Harrison. You've got to think that the Mustangs looking pretty good in these last two yeah. matches. Yeah, they, they are. Both guys coming out clubbing real hard. That's nice to see. But I don't know that Harrison knows what to do with that, though. Minute and a half to go here in this first period of the 220-pound match between Lyle Clark of the Mustangs and Kennard Harrison of Solon. A lot of swatting and clubbing. They're okay. He's okay. There you go. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. And he'll take him down here. Two. Two points for Lyle Clark. So the Mustangs get the early lead with 41 seconds to go in the first period. Clark working that cross face cradle, almost had him. Let's see if Clark can get that locked up on him and put him away. 28 seconds left. Now he's going to look for it again here, I think. Yeah. Here it comes. He's got the cross face. Ah. Bring him back down. Good job. Good job by Clark. I like how Clark's attacking on top. See what they can do here with 14 seconds to go. Match still anybody's match. He's got, they call that a barbed wire. And oof. two back points there. Two back points for Clark makes it four to nothing. Could be in a situation if we, uh, if by some happenstance Solon would get a pin and things stay the way they are in this match, if they get a pin at the heavyweight division, we could end up in a tie. Yeah, yeah. Mustangs don't want to see that happen. They no, don't want to get out of that no, last match. No, no. Even though Abuel's pretty, pretty good heavyweight for the Mustangs. And I don't know anything about uh, Solon's heavyweight. I think Clark is the, the better wrestler, but Harrison doesn't know that yet. Clark needs to just settle him down and pound a little bit and let him know that 
you need to quit messing with me. Because right now, Harrison doesn't know any better. Minute 19 to go here in the second period. 33-30 the score in the match. Claymont ahead. Nice shot by Clark. And that's two points there for Harrison, so it's four to two. And a reversal, two points for Clark, making it six to two. And here comes that cross-face cradle right in front of us here any minute. Here it is. Forty seconds to go here in the second period. See these wrestlers like Harrison, they're, they're dangerous. Clark is the, the better technician. Harrison is not, but he's a gamer. He, he's not stopping. 38 seconds to go in the second period. Clark really working for that cradle. Here, trying to switch up to a near side cradle. Sixteen seconds to go. No escape, out of bounds. So seven seconds to go here, second period of the 220 pound weight match. There you go. Good breakdown. There you go. Nice job. And so that's the end of the second period. And they'll come up neutral here. Both have slowed down considerably. Clark, he needs to really take charge of this match and because Harrison keeps hanging around and that, that's not good. Yeah, Harrison just, he doesn't have the technique, but he does have the, uh, he does have the energy and the desire, it looks like. Clark just needs to, to really get a good solid takedown and finish this off. And so suck that leg in, pull it in, don't lose it, don't lose it. There you go. Oh. There's two yeah. points more for Harrison, making it six yeah. to four. See what I'm saying, Scott? You can't you can't leave these kids hanging around like this. You, you gotta you gotta put them down because they don't know any better. They just keep coming back at you. Seven to four, right now. Claymont on top. Down to 15 seconds. There you go. That'll do it. Two points for Clark, making it nine to four. And Clark comes up a winner, and that makes our score 36 to 30. So now it all comes down to the last match. 
between Jared Aviel of the Mustangs and Yusef Russell of Solon. That was a big win for Clark. Still not sewed up yet. Abio, I believe, is a senior, isn't he, for the Mustangs? I believe I so. so. So he's been around. He 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 knows what to do. Yeah. And Russell is just two points quickly for Abio. Yeah. He's looking to end this one early. Yeah, Russell just not doesn't have the experience of Abio and. I think Abiel's going to take him to school here real quick. And you can just tell the young, experienced wrestlers. I think, I don't know what year Russell's in, but I can just tell he, he hasn't had a lot of mat time. They'll let him up for a point, and it's two to one. He's going to try a headlock. Russell is and it's not going to work on Abiel but I think that's about all Russell probably knows on his feet from what I can tell right now. A minute 12 to go here in the first period. And, and Abiel knows he's trying to headlock. Fifty seconds to go, first period of the heavyweight match, final match of the night. We'll come back with our post-match wrap-up brought to you by Bell Stores, and we'll name our MVP for the match as well, coming up here shortly. Not as much action as we anticipated here in this no. heavyweight match so far. A couple of big guys. He's trying that. He's trying to headlock. He's not going to be able to do that to Abiel. Two there for Abiel, so that makes it four to one. Almost the end of the period, and that's the end of one. So period number two, four to one, Abio leading Russell. Hmm. Russell keeps trying. It's caught a heavyweight hook and roll. But Abio's too, he's too savvy for that. Abio not really knowing what to do underneath there. And he's, or Russell, he'll, he's going to get sucked back. Excuse me, Russell really not having a real good idea of what to do on bottom. Abiel riding really heavy. Stalemate. So the second period, 58 seconds to go. Four to one, Jared Abiel trying to lock up the match here for the Mustangs. I think, uh, Pretty comfortable that he's gonna lock it up without yeah, too many problems. Yeah, Russell's from Solon is kind of running out of steam here. But what I'd like to see Abiel do is get off the hips and work a turn. When he's parallel like that, you know, nothing, nothing much is going to happen. And if you get down to districts and down to state, you'll get hit for stalling on top. You can't stay parallel, hip to hip. Uh, matter of fact, the official, I'd warn them both for stalling. 
I mean, Russell's not even lifting his head up, but Abiel needs to get off to the side, work a bar, work a half. 22 seconds to go here in the second quarter. The heavyweight matches tend to have a lot less action, and uh, we're seeing that again tonight. There you go. And that, if you can pin him in five seconds, there you go. There we go. Yes, sir. So, just as we said, it slowed down. Jared Abio comes through, pins his opponent, makes it 42 to 30 to finish it out for the Mustangs. We'll come back, wrap it up for you here in a moment from the pit in Yorksville in just a moment. Stay with us here on TV2 Sports. WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. In the nation, we know how you feel about your car. So when coverage really counts, count on nationwide insurance. Because what's precious to you is precious to us. Just another way we put members first. Because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. What do you call two Big Mac sandwiches, two cheeseburgers, four world-famous fries, and a 10-piece tender juicy chicken McNuggets? We call it the Mickey D's Dinner Box. You can call it Family Dinner Tastic. Omni Orthopedics comprehensive programs provide early diagnosis and successful treatment for every musculoskeletal problem. With more than 30 years of orthopedic experience, their physicians offer patient-centered treatment for all ages. From evaluation to rehabilitation, your treatment plan is designed around your needs. Omni Orthopedics specializes in sports medicine, the spine, physical medicine and rehabilitation, foot and ankle, and hand surgery. If pain makes activities like climbing stairs, standing or walking a challenge, turn to the home team at Omni Orthopedics. Their mission is to provide you with the highest quality and most advanced orthopedic services so you can get back in the game. Located in the Oxford Medical Arts Building, Omni offers a full service facility including digital x-ray and physical therapy. So there's no need to travel when quality care is so close to home. Omni Orthopedics setting the standard in orthopedic care. I think the hands-on aspect is going to give you an opportunity to explore, find out what you're good at, what you like, and you're not going to have mountains of debt. What you're going to have is a marketable skill that even if you don't love it, you can use that to pay to go on to college and get that degree. And we've got a number of students that do that. They're, they're very mature. I think we're great hands-on exploration base. The Claremont Mustangs, winner over the Solon Comets, 42-30. Welcome to our post-match wrap-up brought to you by Bell Stores with four convenient locations to better serve you in Dover, Bolivar, New Philadelphia, and Strasburg. So the match, 42-30, started out uh, slowly for the Mustangs. They uh, lost the first three matches, so they were quickly down 18, 18 to nothing. They won their next seven. And then they split the final four to come up with that final score. Overall, a good performance by the yeah. Mustangs. Yeah, they, they did a good job. And I think Taryn Rouse came, came up with that pin at the 170-pound at the, uh, weight class, and that really just kept that steam steamroller going. So that is our post-match wrap-up brought to you by Bell Stores with four convenient locations to better serve you in Dover, Bolivar, New Philadelphia, and Strasburg. 
Our game MVP tonight brought to you by McDonald's with six locations to serve you in Dover, Yorksville, Newcomerstown, Caddis, and two locations in New Philadelphia. And uh, our MVP for tonight is Taron Rao with the 170-pound weight class. Used a Granby roll, turned it right into a pin in that third period and uh, really helped the Mustangs uh, get propelled on to uh, win this match. So Taron Rao, our McDonald's wrestler of the match. It's brought to you by McDonald's with six locations to serve you in Dover, Eurexville, Newcomerstown, Caddis, and two locations in New Philadelphia. That's going to wrap it up from the pit in Eurexville. The Claymont Mustangs, a winner over the Solon Golden Comets, 42-30. to For Rick Cole and the rest of our TV2 sports team, I'm Scott Robinson saying so long, everybody.